What up YouTube? It's The Ways and I'm Tia and we're back with another video and today we're doing Beauty My Way of course. So if you looked at the description of this video, we're definitely going to get into a haul. I did a Sephora haul. Yes, I was shopping through the VIB sale. So I want to show you the products that I was able to pick up on that sale, as well as some random palettes that I picked up over the last couple months and some other products that might intrigue you and give you my thoughts and just um, share with you some of the things that I picked up in the last couple months. So if that interests you, definitely please keep watching. But first, during the intro, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up if you feel in the channel. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not part of the fam gang gang. And go ahead and leave a comment below if you picked up anything from the Sephora VIB sale. I'm so excited to see what you guys got. If there's any gems that you found that I need to totally check out, then d definitely let me know below. Lego. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. Let's just hop right up into this haul. I got Jada down here helping me. Had to make sure I had some lotion on my hands or whatever. Okay, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and start off with this Shiseido Facial Cotton. Okay, this was a little bougie buy, but to get it on sale, I think it was 12 bucks plus the 20% off because your girl is a rouge. Um, I had to get them. I had to try them. Jada was out of her cotton to remove her mascara. I said, okay, I'll hand me down my old cotton and I'll get me some new cotton. So I got me some Shiseido bougie cotton. Okay. Next, oh, you already know. I had to pick me up some Biosance um, cleanser. This is the Squalene Plus Amino Aloe Gentle Cleanser. Oh my gosh. So I was trying a little sample of this that uh, Biosance sent me when I ordered some stuff. And let me tell you, I fell in love, okay? This is what she looks like. It's a very gentle, I can go in with two, uh, two washes and clean off all of my makeup. Normally I do a melt, but sometimes I get a little lazy. So I can go in with this. I can open my eyes while I'm washing as I put it on my eyes. Like this cleanser is the truth. It is a plastic container. It does come in a 6.76 fluid ounce and I am in love with it. I'm so glad that I was able to pick it up on the Sephora VIB cell. All right, so another thing that I got was, um, I've been eyeing this. This is by So J Janeiro, which do the Bum Bum Creams, and they came out with a hair oil, a nourishing, Brazilian glossy nourishing hair oil. You know what? I got mad hair oils. Okay, but I said it's 20% off. It smells so, so good. I can smell it out of the packaging right now, and I haven't even opened it. It is glass. Um, if you smell bum bum cream, then you know what I'm talking about. You need to go into a Sephora if you have not and at least smell it. But it smells so good. So I said, why not put an oil on my hair that smells good, you know? I'm in love with the Argan oil, but this one is nice. It's nice and thick. If you have really thin hair, I probably don't recommend it. But if you have more coarse hair like me, um, then you'll probably really love it. Okay, so we're going to jump back into the makeup slash... Actually, this is skincare slash primer it is the glow recipe watermelon niacinamide dew drops okay i've already talked about this on my channel i have been loving it i had to pick up a new one i'm in love with this stuff um i use it as a primer i don't use it as a serum because i use a lot of serums from biosans but this is definitely going to be a staple in my collection. If you have dry skin, if you have uneven skin, if you want a nice primer that has niacinamide to help with dark spots, if you need hydration from hyaluronic acid, um, I love that it doesn't smell too watermelony. You need to get you one. I got two. 
All right, so while I was shopping, I went ahead and picked up a new a setting spray as well. I'm telling you, this haul was all over the place, you guys, but I just wanted to let you know what my picks were. Um, I got the Benefit Pore Professional Super Setter. This was on sale for like half off during the event, I believe, or even before the event. So I could be lying but this is a setting spray and it just keeps your makeup in place. It helps with your pores. But it says lightweight microfine mist. It says softens the look of pores and helps to lock in your makeup. So I've been wanting to try this. You know, laughter is the best cosmetic. I've showed you this before from Benefit. Um, you know I love Benefit. So I want to try it to get a half price on a full size uh item setting spray that i'm gonna go through it was definitely well worth it uh so i got two setting sprays <laughs> i'm a hot mess so i also got the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray party all night slay all day this one i got because i heard a lot of hype around this setting spray so i wanted to try it i got a mini and like I said, I can't have too many setting sprays because I'm constantly putting on makeup and I don't like a powdery effect. So I love to set my makeup. It makes your highlight pop, uh, keeps your makeup on longer. Definitely if you're not even wearing a primer, setting spray is a good way to go. I'll, I'll update you on those two setting sprays um, to let you know how I like them. Okay, this is kind of going in another direction. If you know Sephora, there are three three different areas in Sephora there is skincare there is makeup and then there is fragrance um so I did pick up a couple fragrances during this event I got the new or I don't know if it's new but it's new to me it's Versace yellow diamond okay and this is what she looks like I got a one fluid ounce because I'm really trying to build up my fragrance collection not only is it yellow, it smells really good. But I thought it would be perfect for summertime vibes. And then I told my husband, I said, babe, it's only 60 bucks. I think I'm going to get it plus the percentage off. And he's like, I'll get it for you. I was like, okay. So I added this to my collection. I'm very excited. I've already used it and I think it's amazing. It is a Audu Toilette, so it is a little lighter than like your Audu Parfum or your Parfum, but I'm really feeling it. I've already got mad compliments on that fragrance. I also picked up the Kayali Eden Juicy Apple. I have not even opened it or took it out of its packaging, but it is a mini. I, this is, goes for $25, a little sweeter. I haven't even opened it. I've been waiting to show you guys, but I'm definitely excited to try this one. I did smell it. I think it's very good. I think it's very sweet, and I'm not really a sweet person. I'm more of a spicy type person, but I do like this. <laughs> all right i think okay so now we're gonna still go into the makeup so you know i got that yummy 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 jada says stop singing yes i got that yummy yummy foundation by danessa myrix and best believe that this is coming in a dedicated video for you guys, I got quite a few Danessa Byrix products in this haul. Um, actually, I bought this before the Sephora VIB, and I got the wrong color, so I sent it back, and then I repurchased the right color, and this is my color, is an in 16N, and best believe a review is coming on this foundation. Okay, so I have been looking at this concealer because... I don't know something about it is just nice it's by makeup forever and it's the ultra hd anti crease light capturing self setting concealer and i got it in number 34 this concealer is bomb it looks so good 
it is full coverage it is not new um well it's a light to medium coverage you know not 100 percent full coverage but it does what it needs to do it gives what it needs to give and i will be reviewing this concealer on my channel I didn't pick up the Makeup Forever HD foundation just because it's a matte finish and it's not my forte, okay? So, but I am intrigued by this concealer, so I definitely will be reviewing this for you. Um, I also picked up another concealer. This is just a mini. It was just a really good price. And I said, you know what? Why not? I've been wanting to try something from this brand for a minute. So uh, let's just see what this concealer do. Because I can't have enough concealers. And this is by Nude Sticks. And it's a concealer. It's just a mini one. It's just called Nude Sticks Cream Concealer. So I will be trying this and I will let you know my thoughts on it. It's super duper cute. I think this would be, Jade, bless you. <laughs> I think this will be great for travel. So um, yeah, we'll see what it do. Just so you know too, all the products that I have on my face, if you're feeling this look, will be in the description of this video if anything intrigues you. We've got this far. I think we're almost halfway there. Go ahead and give us a like if you have not liked this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not part of the fam, okay? And let me know if you've picked up anything that I picked up so far. So, uh, next I got the Fenty Beauty. <laughs> Of course, I got stuff from Fenty Beauty. I got the Pro Filter uh, Mini Instant Retouch Powder, and I, I already have this, but I got it in Banana. I wanted a lighter one than the Honey that I use under my eyes, which I'm actually using today. I went ahead and got Banana just to make it a little brighter. I almost went with Butter, but you know what? I stuck with Banana. I think that these little minis last you forever so i think it's definitely worth trying before you buy like i said i have two minis and yeah they're they're lasting so then this one will last me forever because i'm not using them every day another fenty product that i picked up is another cheeks out freestyle cream blush i don't know if you guys seen my other fenty videos and my takeovers and whatnot but i did bring you her cream blush in daiquiri dip this one is in a drama class and this is what she looks like and she is a purple yes i said you know what I don't have anything like this in my collection, so I had to get it. I'm just telling Jada. And I got it because I also picked up, look at that though, that's going to be hot. And it's something different. But I also picked up one of her Stena paints, Long Wear Liquid Color. I love the formula of these Stena paints. I have unveiled what you already know, which is like a brown, but I also had to get the purple and this is in undefeated and i just thought what wouldn't that be like a dope little look the purple lips and the purple blush i'm not so much a purple eyeshadow person but that just looks really hot together so i had to get them all right so another product that i got for blush cream situation is from Vanessa Myricks. Yes, I have been eyeing this for a minute. I'm going to bring it to you when I bring you my yummy foundation review, but this is the Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette by Vanessa Myricks Beauty. I got it in Do It Undercover. There are two different shades. This one is more of a brown neutral type of situation the other one has more pinks it has a nice bright orange you guys don't know how tempted i was to get both of them but i want to see how these perform before i spend my coins because these are kind of expensive but for them to be i mean this could be a bronzer this could be your cheeks lips like 
this is a beautiful color story I thought for summer this would be amazing um, so I'm very 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 excited to try this and show you what I think of it my thoughts on it and if I love it then I will get the other color as well okay so another thing for, for cheeks <laughs> another thing for cheeks that I've been eyeing and if I was getting 20% off, I had to get this. This is by Pat McGrath Labs, and it is a blush, Divine Blush. And this is in the color Paradise Venus. Look, look at this packaging, though. I can't with Pat McGrath. Like, I don't even know. But then even the sleek black. Have I touched it? Let me wipe it off. Look at that sleek black, though. And then it's so luxurious just opening it. But this is uh, the color. There is a mirror. I said if I'm going to get a blush that's not cream, I need to get the Pat McGrath. This is more of a terracotta brown type situation. I was going to get the, the bright reddish tone one. And I said I already have one that color. Let me try something more neutral. So... I'm excited to try this. And if you've watched some of my old I Bought Way Too Much uh, series, then you know that I bought some Pat McGrath that I have not put on my channel yet. And let me tell you guys, I haven't even opened it. It's coming. Wait on it. It's coming. <laughs> All right. These are the last three things that I bought from a Sephora. And they are from the Sephora collection. They are Sephora eyeliners and they are liquid intense eyeliners. And I got three of them. I got like the cobalt blue color, which is called satin cobalt blue. I got more of a bronzy type shade, which is called metallic burnt brown. And then I also got like a forest green, which is called satin forest green. These are really, really nice. They were 30% off part of the Sephora collection. Um, one of my colleagues put me onto this one, and I was just like, you know what? I liked it. Let me try a couple more. So, yes, these were a great little still for 30% off. So, yes, that was my Sephora haul for the VIB sale. A couple things might have been before VIB, but most of them were during the VIB sale. Um, and I am not going to be shopping for a while, okay? Like, no more shop April. No by May. We skip in May, okay? I might even have to skip June, you guys, because I bought way too much. But let's go ahead and jump into a couple one-off products, and then we'll get into the palettes that I did purchase. So Kaleidos, uh, which is an indie brand out of China, they dropped a new launch. They were more new type four shadow quads, um, more neutral type tones. And let me fix my shirt. <laughs> they were neutral type quads and they were really, really pretty. But I was like, Tia, now you know you don't need that. But I did need another lip clay set by Kaleidos. I got to get a box. I got four new shades and they are gorgeous. Let me show them to you. I've only used one of these, so this will be really first impressions. I love this formula. That's why I picked up more. So Scorpion Fruit, I wore this the other night. And it is a black, and I am in love. Look at that. I'm in love. It's black. It has, like, a little bit of a deep purple tone, but really on the lips, it looks black. Then I also picked up a cognac. Let's see what it looks like, because I don't remember. I've never tried this. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like a burnt brown red color. It would look a bomb with that blush from Pat McGrath. So I got that. That's in cognac. Then I went ahead and picked up 
cold smoke now these three that I'm showing you the last three that I'm showing you are all from the new collection that they just dropped so this one is called cold smoke oh yeah this is a nude brown type shade look at that oh it looks like the color of my skin but deeper little mauve to it love that can't wait to put that on and then the last one is a skin ship so this one is gonna be more skin type tone with a little bit of a pink nude moment yes I love the formula on these if you try nothing else from Kaleidos which they do have awesome shadows I definitely recommend these lip clays and for you to be able to create your own little bundle for what you want just makes it 10 times better look at those colors love okay so I don't know where we stopped but I picked up some rougher brushes this might be my favorite thing that I picked up in the past couple months just because I have been wanting to try these brushes these are all eyeshadow brushes I believe that I got okay I got 16 15 13 uh, what number is this <laughs> 21 12 and 14 so 12 4, 12 13 14 15 16 and 21 um ruffer was having a sell and i've been wanting to try them ruffer is a brand that makes brushes from japan uh, they have natural goat hair bristles, so I definitely want to try them. A lot of people talk about them, and me being in makeup the way that I am, I had to get these. They had a sell, I believe, 40% 40, 40 off, and they have like a consignment type store. I don't think that's what it's called, but if you go to their website, they have a separate section where you can get the products for a cheaper price if you write a review um, once you get the products which just reminds me that I need to write a review on these brushes which means I need to use them and bring them to you so I'm totally excited about that they also threw in a little uh, brush cleanser soap so I'm so super duper excited about that bye all right, so let's get into, oh, I got one more set of brushes. Um, I got one set of Real Techniques of brushes. I brought the foundation brush to you on my channel. Um, well, I will be bringing the foundation brush to you on my channel. I don't think I have up that video where I'm actually using it, but I just think these are so cute. Look at the black chrome base. You have a foundation, a blush brush and eyeshadow brush and uh, eyebrow brush and I just think they're super duper cute it was like $12.99 I got it at Target and you know I like real techniques um, even the pink tone is really really cute so that was a good little buy all right y'all let's get into these palettes okay so yeah let's see this one first okay so because okay I didn't get this I got this on sale. I got this in the last couple months. I just haven't been able to show you. But it is. Uh, it's by Pat McGrath Labs. And this is my first ever eyeshadow palette from Pat McGrath. And if you know anything about Pat McGrath, you know that they are $125 palettes. $125 eyeshadow palette so I had to be 100 on the one that I wanted to get and she had a 30% off on her site you guys if you don't know already I am pretty cheap 
and I like to find the deals. So when she said 30% off, and this was around my birthday, because I asked my husband for it. Uh, my birthday is in March. I asked my husband for it, and I said, you know what? She's doing a sale. Let me go ahead and get it myself, okay? This is the Mothership number 1 subliminal eyeshadow palette. This is the one that speaks to me the most, and when I say she is a luxurious... She is luxurious. She is thick. Okay. And she is a gorgeous. I have not swatched this palette. I have not used this palette. Best believe you guys will be the first one to see me use this palette. I love that it is cool toned. I love that it doesn't have a lot of pinks in it like a lot of her other palettes. Um, so that's why I went with this one. This blue is stunning. These four are special shades on this site. If you haven't seen Pat McGrath palettes, I will be swatching this for you. But I love the mattes in here. I love that they're cool tone. I love that they're more of a neutral cool tone. And it just gives a different vibe than a lot of her other palettes that I've seen. There's one other one that stands out to me that has like this bright red. But this is the one I decided to pick up super duper excited so if you guys don't know if you don't get the theme you're gonna get a pat mcgrath takeover yes come through okay guys three more products that i want to talk about so i just picked this up recently this is a brand new launch um i don't i'm not gonna do like a whole probably dedicated video for this palette just because it's once it's sold out it's probably not coming back but i wanted to get it because i love the color story i've never tried anything from this brand it is from adept cosmetics they are an indie brand and i got the heather austin palette collaboration palette heather austin is a youtuber um that does makeup content as well on the ch on on youtube okay and she collabed with this beautiful palette i don't know there are duochromes in here there are some grungy tones in here obviously these two definitely caught my eye this look at this this looks yellow to you it is green to me this palette and i don't know if you can see now with the way the shift is with the mirror and the lighting <sighs> i said i wasn't gonna bring it i'm gonna have to bring it to you guys hopefully it's still in stock but this palette is absolutely beautiful i cannot wait to play with it and um yeah i'm excited it is 58 dollars if you're interested in picking up this palette i would definitely say go ahead and check out heather austin's a uh, page for swatches and commentary on the names and why she picked the colors that she picked um she will lay it out better than i will who knows when i'll get this video up because i got too much stuff going on you know we'll never get there okay guys so we have saved the best for last if you are a makeup lover you probably already know what i got if not, you might want to go ahead and get your debit card, okay? So Melt Cosmetics. Melt Cosmetics is this brand that's really grungy, and they do a lot of marijuana-inspired makeup. They have tons of palettes. The Mary Jane palette, the 420 palette, the uh, Smoke Sessions palette. She, they have a blueprint palette if you know me you know i love jay-z okay they had a palette called the gemini palette my son and my dad are gemini's not that that matters the color story is a bomb and it's been out of stock for ever and i was like man i'm not gonna i don't know because the melt reviews be a little iffy and those palettes are like 60 bucks and for you to not have the best quality i don't know if i need to spend my coins okay but i have been hearing such great reviews about the gemini palette i was looking on makari they're trying to sell it for like 200 bucks you know i said you're tripping okay i don't need it that bad but guess what melt did so they dropped the gemini palette and they brought their sister the gemini too 
<laughs> ah, I can scream right now. I'm so excited. So first, uh, let me show you what the Gemini palette looks like. And best believe I will bring these on my channel very soon. But this is the Gemini palette. They repackaged the outside, but the inside and the quality is still the same. And this is what she looks like. Yes. She is a grungy girl's dream with neutrals. Oh, one of the owners, this is a Latino uh, owned brand. Uh, and they, one of the owners is a Gemini. So that's why they came out with this palette. So, yes, I'm not even going to go into too much detail because I will bring you that one. But this one is the new one. And this is the Gemini 2 palette. Look at the packaging, though. And this is what she looks like on the outside. So the same kind of vibes with the flowers, just a different color story. So you can imagine that this is probably more pinky tone and you know I'm not a pinky tone person but look it is a grungy pinky tone you got greens you got mauves I got a red look at the look at this and they have dropped recently the beauty community a lot of palettes with mauvey pinky tones this is the only one that interests me because it is a grungy. It is like dark and mysterious and a beautiful. <laughs> so excited that I got my hands on these palettes. Melt was throwing these palettes out for two for $80. Originally $58 a piece. I had to get it on the day it launched. I was so excited to finally pick up the Gemini palettes so guys yes we got to the end of this haul i hope that you like it you're not gonna get a haul for a minute because i am on a no buy like literally i said no by january and i still bought january february and march and april i am not buying anymore i don't care what kind of sales come out i don't care what kind of products are launched i'm going to bring you the products that i have and i hope that you guys enjoy them and find some gems in them yourselves i'm very excited about these products that i was able to pick up go ahead and give me a big thumbs up if you picked up any of these products um on their launch if you're gonna pick up any of these products go ahead and give me a comment and let me know what you picked up or what you're wanting to pick up or let me know hey t i'm waiting for you to give me that review to see if i need to spend my dollars okay um and i'm down to try whatever you guys want me to try first you just let me know below so thank you so much for spending your time with me we will see you later don't forget to subscribe if you're not part of the fam. And we'll see you later. Have a great day. Peace.